In this video, we will go over how to use text and transitions in WeVideo. So push to open up the editing window here with our video that we've already started. And we'll click on the text option icon at the top. It has an A on it and scroll through. There are a lot of text options for titles and subtitles in WeVideo. It's really great to scroll through and check out all of the different options that you can have. If you click on them once, they will preview on the right side in that preview pane. And once you find one that you like, all you have to do is click on it and drag and drop it down into your video, just like you would with a normal video file. And I'm going to put it in video two above my video because I would like it to be layered over the top. To edit it, all I have to do is double click on it and then I can go through and type in my title. I can change the colors and I can change the fonts from these nice drop down menus. I can resize my title here on the right and I can move it around. I can also change the individual word sizes with the fonts, but first I would have to click the manual and then you can change the size of the font right here with the numbers. And once you have finished editing your title, then you can click done editing on the bottom right and check out your title in your video. One of the things to remember is layering with your text. If you drag your text down and you put it in the same row as your video in video one, it will have that blank black background. And if you move it up into video two, it will be layered over your video. So that's just something to remember whether or not you want it to be layered, put it up in video two above your video, or if you want it to play in a row, put it in video one. So now we're gonna move on to transitions. I have my intro video and it goes straight into my regular video. So I'm gonna come up and click on the transitions icon. And just like with the text, if you click once, it will preview the transition to the right so you can see what it would look like. And when I find transition that I would like, it's also the same as the text and it's a drag and drop. It will be red where the transition won't fit and green where it will fit. And I can let go and now I can preview this and my two video clips transition nicely from one to the other. We recommend that you have a nice transition at the end of your video. The dip to black is a nice one to close out the video so that it doesn't end abruptly. That's just a tip. One of the things to remember when using transitions is that they do cut into your clip. By clicking on the transition, you can change the duration of the transition, make it longer and more subtle or shorter. You can click on it and delete it and remove it and it will put those clips back together. And when you do add that transition, it will cut a little bit into your clip. So just remember that if you have taken the time to edit carefully. So those are text and transitions. They are drag and drop and then double click to edit. So try out both in your videos today. Don't forget to subscribe to the EdTech Team YouTube channel right here and check out the next video in our playlist.